Vivendi continues to climb in Europe. The deals. Jonathan Brody joins us from London with more on that. Jonathan. Yes, good morning, Jane. European stocks continued their surge this morning following rises in China and Hong Kong overnight and despite continued worries over a possible Greek exit from the euro. The posturing ahead of the British general election next month seems to have left the markets cold so far. A poorer than expected February result for UK manufacturing and a series of opinion survey results putting the opposition Labour Party ahead in the polls both play against the governing right of centre coalition. But investors maintained their composure and the FTSE 100 index didn't flinch. It's up well over three tenths of a percent so far today. Pharmaceuticals Group Shire is the top performer on the London Blue Chip Index this morning, up 4.8 percent after its dry eye disease drug Lifitigrasp was granted priority review status from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which could speed its arrival on the market. And in Paris, Vivendi continued its two-week climb after its largest shareholder, Vincent Bolloré, raised his stake in the media conglomerate from 12% to 14.52% with an $850 million share purchase. Bolloré gets extra firepower for his stake as activist investor P. Schoenfeld Asset Management recently agreed to drop demands to exempt Vivendi from a French law giving double votes to long-term shareholders like Bolloré. Vivendi was up 0.65%. In Spain, oil company Repsol fall four, fell four-tenths of a percent after the head of the banking group La Queja told the Financial Times in an interview he'd considering, consider selling a 12% stake in Repsol. La Queja chairman Isidro Fenet also hinted he might consider a separate initial public offering for the holding company for the group's other industrial investments. Those include multi-billion dollar stakes in some of the country's largest businesses, such as Utility Gas Natural and the infrastructure and toll roads operator Abertis. That's all from me. Back to you in New York, Jane. That was Jonathan Browdy with The Deal in London.